it was a beautiful film, Greta. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, I know it's not autobiographical, oh, yeah. you made that point, but could you talk through some of the parallels um, perhaps with your life and also sure. why you chose to focus on the, the mother-daughter story? Sure. Um, well, I'm, I'm from Sacramento, California, which is where the film takes place. And, and that was one of the first impulses I had in making the movie. I wanted to shoot a whole movie that took place there. And uh, I went to Catholic school. I went to Catholic girls' school. And even though the character of Lady Bird is kind of the opposite of how I was, um, the heart of, of, of the emotions of the movie are, are not, it's not autobiographical, but it is personal. And for me, I, I wanted to create a movie that had a mother-daughter relationship at the center of it because I just think it's such a complex, interesting, rich relationship, and there aren't enough movies about it given how amazing it is <laughs> it feel it sort of felt like um, you know it's a kind of a gold mine of uh, of love and conflict and drama and everything else because it's just you know with Lady Bird and her mother Marion played by the genius Laurie Metcalf um, they're really flip sides of the same coin they, they they love hard and they fight hard and part of the reason for the fighting is because they're they're very similar I think that's what makes it so relatable to yeah. so many of us as well. Did you watch it with your mother? Can you tell oh, us what yes. that was like? Yes, um, it was. I mean, I showed it to my my mom and my dad and my brother and my sister and my best friend growing up. I showed it before that anyone else saw it, and um, they loved it. And they were very sweet about it. But when it premiered at Telluride Film Festival, my mom came with me. Um, and my dad too, and so I got to sit in the movie theater the first time I showed it to the world and sit right there and she was there and it was very, very emotional. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and it's been universally adored and recognized, totally well deserved with so many yeah. awards and nominations. How buzzy is that? It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny. Someone said, asked me and Sersha if we thought that would happen when we were making the movie and we were like, no. <laughs> I mean, not even... Not even a, a little bit. I mean, we were we would joke about um, you know, um, get, just what it would be, um, and because you know we I've been involved with a lot of movies over the years, and you never think you always hope that they'll connect, and you make movies with the idea that they'll connect, but you don't, you never think it's going to be like. This. <laughs> <laughs> it's also been a reminder to us that there have only that you are only the fifth woman yeah. um, to get this kind of yes. nod. Does that piss you off? Well, and I mean, I'm what I'm hopeful for is that it means that um, we're really kind of shifting those numbers. I think it's um, it's long overdue and it's very thrilling that. Um, that it's shifting. And I also think it's shifting because the audience would like it to shift because uh, having a diversity of storytellers is just good good business sense. And I think that, that people have seen that with um, you know, the success of, of Wonder Woman last summer, written, you know, Patty Jenkins directed it and it's about Wonder Woman <laughs> um, to uh, you know the, the, the new movie Black Panther, which just opened, it's like let's have lots of different kinds of people tell stories because I think we we want that um, and we're ready to spend our money to see exactly. And it's not because there aren't women making wonderful films as, yeah. as well. Yeah. And uh, what about you now? Yeah. Are you hooked on solo directing? <gasps> What, what, what about me doing what? Going, going oh, for oh, oh, in, oh, yes. in the future, yes. you're going to yes. is, is directing oh. where your heart is now. Totally. Writing, directing. I mean, I love acting. I'll never stop acting. But I have, I, I've been very lucky in my acting career. I've mainly gotten to do movies I wanted to do with people I wanted to work with. And I always use acting as a kind of double for film school because I, that's why I like to... Oops, that's why I like to work with great directors because I'd be around them and I get to watch how they lit scenes and how they communicated with their department heads and how they worked with actors and um, I think I'll just keep doing m movies with people I think are making good movies. Um, I never looked, even at, when I was acting a lot, I never looked at the size of the part or what it, I, I, I always looked at who's the director, who's the director because that's, you know, that's the experience of making a movie. That's awesome. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time. Thanks so much.